I've got to lead by example. I want to be a good example for people to follow. makes me more aware and makes me more conscientious of trying to produce a quality beef product. You know, we've gone from a mom and pop operation where the day was that, you know, I did milking and feeding and feeding calves and breeding and scraping manure and hauling manure and I've been pulled away from that and been focused on motivating, training, and empowering people to do that work for me. I feel very fortunate that I have a group of employees that is not only very productive but work very well together and they respect me, I respect them, and there's nothing I wouldn't do for them and likewise there's nothing that they wouldn't do for me. It's really kind of a kind of a close we've come become a close knit family really. How your people, how your employees care for the animal is is reflected in the, not only the quality of milk, but the quality of your meat. We spend a lot of time keeping records. Any injections or whatever is given is noted and recorded on a, a, a computerized management system. And we probably spend easily a couple hours a day on, on records. How your animals are treated it has a big impact on, on beef quality. I mean, the key to profitability in the industry is removing as much stress from the animal as possible. And our goal is to limit the amount of stress and figure out what's stressing the animal and remove that from her. We're learning more and more every day what the cow likes, what she doesn't like. So to keep up with that, you have to make make changes, but we finally came to the conclusion that we needed to switch to a sand bedding because our goal is to try to get that cow to lay down as much as possible. I mean, we want the cow either to be either in the parlor milking, eating, or lying down. And we have found that we're getting much better usage of the stalls and getting much better cow comfort with sand versus the mats that we originally put in the barn. I like to see clean animals and the way you keep clean animals is to keep their their traffic lanes and their the feed lanes clean. So we actually put in the automatic barn scrapers in 2000. Uh, we put the scraper in to reduce labor and to help the cleanliness of the cows. Uh, rather than just a concrete surface to feed the animals, we put on uh, some ceramic tile basically to extend the life of the bunk and to keep a smooth surface, which is easier to keep clean, to keep bacteria and thing, things that we don't want growing there. And the cow likes to lick a, a smooth surface versus a sandpaper surface. You have to give them the environment that they want, give them the feed stuffs that they need, and they'll, they'll produce for you. But whenever you put the stress on them and try to push them and force them to do things they don't want to do, you don't get the productivity and you don't get the profitability, you don't get the animal health. I mean, the happier you make that animal, the more productive you're going to be. And our goal is to limit the amount of stress and figure out what's stressing the animal and remove that from her.